This DMV California written test features samples of well-crafted questions that are similar and identical to questions that appear in authentic DMV written test. iQuist Theory wishes you the best of luck on your upcoming DMV written test. What should you do if your vehicle's tire blows out while driving? A. Apply the brakes gently to come to a complete stop. B. Gently release the acceleration and steer straight. C. Regain control by making quick steering movements. B. Gently release the acceleration and steer straight. It is vital to remain calm and respond appropriately if your vehicle's tire blows out while on the move. Release the accelerator gradually to slow down and keep control of the car. Maintain a straight path and avoid making unexpected steering maneuvers. Once you've regained control, pull over to the side of the road and apply your parking brake. Turn on your emergency lights. Put on your spare tire or call your roadside assistance service. What is the function of a roundabout? A. To slow traffic down. B. To practice driving in a circles. C. To help reduce traffic congestion and improve traffic flow. C. To help reduce traffic congestion and improve traffic flow. Roundabouts minimizes the risk of high-speed and right-angle collisions. Roundabouts are designed to enhance safety and efficiency by eliminating the need for traffic signals or stop signs. Vehicles circulate clockwise through the roundabout, yielding to traffic already in the circle. This helps to reduce delays and improve overall traffic movement. You are driving on a freeway posted for a speed limit of 65 miles per hour. You encountered heavy moving traffic moving at 35 miles per hour. The ideal speed for your vehicle is most likely to be a. 35 miles per hour. B. 65 miles per hour. C. 20 miles per hour. A. The best speed for your vehicle in this situation would be 35 miles per hour. Even if it is slower than the posted speed limit, Adjusting your speed to keep up with the flow of traffic improves safety and helps maintain a smooth traffic flow. Driving too fast or too slowly in comparison to the surrounding traffic can cause problems. It is best to drive at the same speed as the other vehicles on the road, which is 35 miles per hour. You and another vehicle arrive at a four-way stop sign simultaneously with the intention to proceed straight ahead. Which vehicle has the right of way? A. The vehicle on the right. B. The vehicle with the loudest horn. C. The vehicle that arrives first. C. The vehicle that arrives first. When two vehicles reach a four-way stop sign simultaneously, and both have the intention to proceed straight ahead, the right-of-way is given to the vehicle that arrives first. The standard practice at a four-way stop is to yield the right-of-way to the first arriving vehicle and then continue in a counterclockwise order. What is the meaning of a solid white line on a roadway? A. Passing is not allowed. B. Passing is permissible when it can be done safely. C. Passing is allowed only in designated areas. A. Passing is not allowed. A solid white line on a road signifies that overtaking or passing is prohibited. Drivers must refrain from crossing the solid white line to overtake or pass other vehicles, except in situations where it is necessary, such as making a left turn or avoiding an obstacle. Which of the following behaviors best describes you as an aggressive driver? A. Keeping a safe following distance from the vehicle ahead. B. Using turn signals to indicate lane changes or turns. C. Speeding and frequently changing lanes without signaling.
c. Speeding and frequently changing lanes without signaling. Speeding and frequently changing lanes without signaling are examples of aggressive driving behavior. Aggressive driving includes actions that endanger or annoy other road users, such as tailgating, running red lights, or cutting off other drivers. What is the proper way to respond to a flashing red traffic light? A. Proceed with caution without stopping. B. Stop and wait for the light to turn green. C. Treat it as a stop sign. C. Treat it as a stop sign. When encountering a flashing red traffic light, drivers must treat it as a stop sign. They should come to a complete stop. Yield the right of way to any other vehicles or pedestrians, and proceed when it is safe to do so. You must notify DMV within 5 days if you a. Sell or transfer your vehicle. b. Are cited for traffic violations. c. Paint your vehicle a different color. A. Sell or transfer your vehicle. If you sell or transfer ownership of your vehicle, you must notify the DMV within 5 days. This notification is essential for updating the vehicle's registration and ensuring that you are no longer held responsible for the vehicle. It helps in maintaining accurate records and preventing any issues related to the vehicle's ownership and associated responsibilities. You want to park uphill on a two-way road and there is no curb. Which way do you turn your front wheels? A. Let the wheels face straight ahead. B. Right towards the side of the road. C. Left towards the center of the road. B. Right towards the side of the road. When you park uphill, turn your steering wheel away from the curb. Allow the back of your front wheel to touch the curb. The curb will serve as a brake. Your vehicle will not move if the brakes fail. When parking downhill, make sure your front wheels are pointed toward the curb or sidewalk. The curb will serve as a brake when the parking brake fails. When there is no curb, turn the wheels toward the shoulder of the road. If your parking brake fails and there is no curb, your car will roll off the road. Here is a short rhyme I composed to help you out. Blundell says, downhill to the curb, uphill to the road. No curb to the curb. The following behaviors are unsafe while driving. Which one is also illegal? A. Reading a road map. B. Adjusting your exterior mirrors. C. Listening to your favorite music with a pair of dual headphones set. Listening to audio through a headset cuts off your sense of hearing noises in the outside world while you are driving. By limiting your hearing, it's possible to drive completely unaware of vital audio cues, such as horns honking, and the sirens of police officers and emergency vehicles. You're also much more likely to be distracted while behind the wheel. You must yield to a pedestrian carrying a white cane or with the aid of a guide dog. A. Only when a guide dog is leading the person across a street. B. At all times. C. Only if a crossing guard is present. The white cane is a symbol of independence and blindness. The white cane allows an individual who is legally blind to travel independently. According to California state law, any driver who fails to yield the right of way, or take all reasonably necessary precautions to avoid injury to this blind pedestrian, is guilty of a misdemeanor, punishable by imprisonment in the county jail not exceeding six months, or by a fine of not less than $500 and not more than $1,000 or both. When a solid yellow line runs next to a broken yellow line, it means that vehicles a. next to the broken line may pass. b. next to the solid line may pass. C may pass in both directions.
vehicles next to the broken line may pass. The solid line is a restriction, while the broken line indicates permissibility for passing when safe. Always adhere to road markings and follow traffic rules to ensure the safety of yourself and others on the road. In many cases, crossing a solid yellow line to enter a driveway or access your home may be permitted, but it's important to exercise caution and ensure it can be done safely. You are driving on a multi-lane street with two-way traffic. The safest way to drive is a. In the lane next to the center line. b. Alongside other vehicles so the drivers can see you. c. To drive ahead of or behind the other vehicles. c. To drive ahead of or behind the other vehicles. Driving alongside another car may result in an accident if the other driver crowds your lane or decides to change lanes without checking. To prevent this, drive ahead of or behind vehicles in other lanes rather than alongside them. What is the meaning of this sign? a. There is bridge ice and the road ahead is winding. b. There is a sharp curve ahead. c. The road ahead may be slippery. C. The road ahead may be slippery. Slippery when wet sign is used to warn of unexpected slippery conditions. This usually means that a part of the roadway becomes more slippery in wet or cold weather. Expect to see the sign close to bridges and overpasses, which freeze first in cold and wet weather. Bridges and overpasses also dry out last. In wet or cold weather, you must slow down and drive with caution. Which of the following claims pertaining to slippery road surfaces is correct? A. The pavement is less slippery when it first starts to rain on a hot day than it is afterwards. B. On cold, wet days, shade from trees or buildings can hide spots of ice. C. Driving over wet leaves on the road will give you additional tire grip. B. On cold, wet days, shade from trees or buildings can hide spots of ice. This is true about slippery road surfaces. Shaded areas can retain ice that isn't visible when it's cold and damp, making the road surface unsafe. Drivers may be unaware of the existence of ice in these shaded areas, which can be hazardous. What is the suggested following distance behind the vehicle in front of you? A. 3 seconds. B. 2 car length. C. Four car lengths. Three seconds. This allows you enough time to react to any sudden changes in traffic or road conditions. To measure the following distance, choose a fixed object, for example a sign or a landmark, and start counting when the vehicle ahead passes it. You should reach that object at least three seconds later. What does a yellow diamond-shaped sign with black symbols or letters represent? A. School zone ahead. B. Stop sign ahead. C. Warning of a specific hazard. C. Warning of a specific hazard. Yellow diamond-shaped signs with black symbols or letters are generally used to warn drivers about a specific hazard or condition on or near the roadway. These signs are meant to alert drivers to be cautious and prepared for the indicated hazard. Examples of such signs include warnings for curves, intersections, pedestrian crossings, and other potential dangers on the road. It's important for drivers to pay attention to these signs and adjust their driving accordingly to ensure safety on the road. What is the significance of a high-occupancy vehicle, HOF, lane? A. It permits vehicles to travel faster if they want to. It encourages carpooling, which decreases traffic congestion and reduces emissions. C. It defines a lane for emergency vehicles and electric cars.
It encourages carpooling, which decreases traffic congestion and reduces emissions. Hoff, high occupancy vehicle. Lanes are special lanes that can only be used by vehicles carrying two or more passengers or by other specific categories of vehicles such as licensed taxis and motorbikes. Hoff lanes aid in encouraging carpooling, which helps to ease traffic and reduce emissions.